So in today's video, we are going to be taking apart this Pelican Accessories System Selector that when you click on these buttons, it selects which system you're going to display by these cables on your TV. And these, this is a, an old one since we just have like HDMI cables now and that stuff. So this is what they did in the old days. And the materials for today are going to be one Phillips head screwdriver in about like a uh, regular size. And if you need to, you can get like a bunch of different ones to see which one fits best. Yeah, let's get into this. So first off, you're gonna flip it over and then locate these four main screws that are on this main black piece right here. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and screw those out. Also with that, you're gonna wanna screw these three screws here and those three screws on that piece also. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this so you guys don't have to watch me. Uh, and I also forgot to mention that um, there's supposed to be pads on these two right here. So you're going to want to take the pads off. So if you can't see them, that's probably why. You have to take the pads off and you just get a flathead screwdriver. And you just pry them like that. But I have a felt side one so it doesn't work. I'm going to continue um, screwing off the rest of these screws. And if some of your screws don't want to come out like these two. And you're like trying to screw and they still won't come out. The, and they're like loosely screwing, then they're probably fine just because this is plastic and not metal. So yeah, so now once you have all the screws out, you're going to want to flip it over and then just like slowly lift off this p front piece, which since mine still has a screw, I have to go pull it open while unscrewing this. But it should just pry off if If uh, you don't have any screw problems. Alright, so now that I have this screw, I'm going to lift that up. And then we just lift the front off, the top off. And now you have this main piece. Now you can go ahead and lift off this section, the front, put that aside. And then lift off the back section, which sometimes can be a struggle because I still have a screw in here. I'm going to unscrew that while pulling. And that should just pop out. So now that I have that, you can go ahead and take that piece off and put it on the side. Now, you have this main circuit board piece. And now to get off the circuit board piece, so it's just a circuit board, you're going to, we're going to remove these three screws right here. And... I'm going to proceed to skip through this so you guys don't have to watch me. Alright, so now that you have this screw and that screw and that, those three screws taken apart, you can just lift off this main circle board and set that aside. And now we have two more screws which are just holding in a piece of metal. And you can go ahead and take these off. And one important thing when um, doing taking off screws is making sure that you have them separated. Like I do over here, like I have the big flat heads that I just screwed off right here. And then the other three that are on the circuit board right there. And then the smaller ones that go to these pieces are right there. And then the main ones right here. And yeah, and then you just, and then to get this out, you can just flip it over. And then there you go. There are two pieces of metal. And I don't even know why these are here, but just this is what I found. Here's a main circuit board over here, and then metal, the ca the casing pieces, and then our screws. And I'll probably post another video on um, how it works and everything, and yeah. So thank you for watching Creative Ideas by Cody. Uh, tune in for more in the next time. Uh, subscribe for more. Thank you, and...